What's up, Namblers? Follow me as we customize the clock face for the lock screen on Samsung Galaxy devices. All right, let's namble. All right, guys, to customize the clock face, let's download GoodLock from the Galaxy App Store and open it. Then download clock face. Go back to GoodLock once that's done. Go to clock face and choose the clock that you want to edit first. Here, you can choose your clock style and adjust the elements for certain styles. You can do so by tapping on the edit or check boxes. To edit the other clock, relaunch good lock and go back to clock face. I'm in the mood for some tacos today, so let's go with this. Once you've chosen your clock face, let's customize the elements using Lockstar, also available within the GoodLock app. Let's download that and launch it. Within Lockstar, allow permissions, then toggle it on. Let's edit the portrait lock screen first. Here we can tap on each element, such as the clock, notifications, music player, etc. and reposition them so that they're not overlapping. I like to maximize the clock size so that it's easier to see. Once that's done, we can go back to edit the landscape lock screen accordingly. For lock screen timeout, I like to leave it at max, 10 minutes. This is usually defined in the regular system settings. Once that's set, let's dive into the built-in lock screen settings. Here, you can set a pattern, face, and fingerprint locks depending on your device. I like to enable the always on display and set it to show always. You can change it to your preference. Disabling it will save battery life. For contact information, this may come in handy for lost and found. You can adjust the notifications to show details or not, or you can even hide the content. I keep mine to icons only for privacy reasons. Finally, for the shortcuts, I find that the flashlight comes in handy. And there you have it, the essential setup for the lock screen. Be sure to check out my other videos for Namdroid device hacks, such as my essential keyboard tweaks. Like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.